The most famous example of mutually beneficial symbiosis is the one that exists between sea anemones like this one and tiny fish called an ebony fish. Now, the trade here is that the clownfish are allowed to live within the tentacles of the anemone. In fact, they're immune to the sting, which would normally kill fish, and thereby they're able to hide from predators. And in return, the sea anemone gets nutrients. Now, that's because the sea anemone is also symbiotic with tiny brown microalgae, zooxanthellae. That's all their brown color. And they need fertilizer. Well, the clownfish, by feeding on the water column, come back to the sea anemone where they excrete waste waste nutrients, which act as fertilizer, and thereby benefiting the zooxanthellae, which benefits the anemone, and of course it's beneficial to the clownfish that are protected from predators.